Remember MemGPT? It's a framework that allows you to build large language model agents that are infused with memory. And this is with the addition with custom tools. It enables anyone to build and deploy stateful large language model agents with long-term memory, which is able to connect to external data sources like PDF files for RAG. You have the ability to define and call custom tools like Google Search, and you have the ability to also integrate other plugins. Now, back when we had actually covered it on the channel, it wasn't deployable with a UI that you see over here. It didn't have any of the MemGPT services that they've just recently introduced. And this is why we're actually going to be covering it once again due to its extensive new toolset and abilities. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video and showcase this new UI as well as the MemGPT services which they have introduced. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at MemGPT. Now, if you haven't seen this video, you should definitely do so. This is a video I made on MemGPT a long time ago, around six months ago. And we went over this framework, but just to briefly go over what MemGPT is, it's basically this framework that is designed to simplify the development and the deployment of stateful large language model agents. It offers various functionalities like long-term memory and state management, where it's going to be able to allow the creation of agents that can retain and access information over extended periods. This will reduce the costage of having Different large language models utilize less tokens as it refers to previous context, and this will enhance your contextual understanding better. Now, it also allows you for having con connections with external data sources now, which is with RAG, and it will en enable a large language model agent to connect to external data sources, which will facilitate tasks such as document analysis, and this is through RAG setups. You're now also able to define and call custom tool functions where you're going to be able to define and utilize custom functions, such as integrating Google search, for example, so that you can extend the capabilities of your large language model agent. This is a great framework that we have covered previously, and we finally got a new update where MemGPT supports the deployment of multi agents and multi user services that MemGPT services provide and it's gonna be making it more suitable for various applications. It's completely open source, and it's something that I'm gonna be showcasing how to install this UI, because it is definitely way more easier to use, and it's super easy to use their tool builder. We can see that this is the MemGPT dev portal. Where we're gonna be able to create, monitor, and chat with your large language model agents. Now guys, there's actually multiple methods to get started with MemGPT, but say you wanna install MemGPT with the dev portal, we're going to be utilizing Docker to set this up, but there's also a way to start it up with your Clive, which is possibly something that many of us who do not have the hardware requirements should follow through with. You can get started by going to the docs, simply copying this command pip install pi memgpt. If you already have memgpt, like say if you watch this video and you already had it installed previously, you can just simply update it by putting in the dash update command beside the pip install pi memgpt. And once you have installed MemGPT on your command prompt or your computer, you can then get started by running MemGPT with this command and you'll be able to start chatting with it within VS Code or your CLI. But now what we're going to be doing is installing MemGPT with a server so that we can access this UI. So first things first, you need to make sure that you have the requirements fulfilled. You need to make sure that you have Docker installed. If you do not, make sure you install it for your operating system, whether that's Mac, Windows, or Linux. Now, this would require at least 8 gigabytes of VRAM, so make sure you have that fulfilled beforehand so that you know that you, you don't waste time, basically, if you do not have the hardware compatibility. Now, once you have Docker installed, what you can do is go back to the MemGPT 
uh, GitHub repository, you want to basically click on this green button over here and copy the GitHub repository link. Once you have done that, scroll back down to the section, which is the dev portal. And just to note that this is actually an alpha build. So it's going to be current, continuously upgraded over a period of time. They're going to be adding more updates and they're going to be trying their best to keep evolving and innovating this platform further. So what you want to do now is after you have Docker installed and you copy this link, you need to also make sure that you have Git installed. And once all of that has been fulfilled, you can open up your command prompt and you can just simply type in Git clone and copy the link or paste the link into your command prompt and click enter. This will take a couple of seconds to clone the repository. And once this is done, what we can do is we can then go into the CD or sorry, the memgpt file, which we just cloned. And this is by typing in CD memgpt. Once we are in the memgpt directory, we can run Docker compose up and it's easy as that guys. Now I totally forgot to do this. What you got to do is go into your VS code or your ID. And what you want to do is open up your .n file in the memgpt folder. What you want to do is just rename this. So what we're going to do is find the rename function, take out .example. And what we're going to do is set the variables. So you can actually set a password. So when you have opened up your memgpt on your local host, you can then access it through a password. So definitely set it beforehand. I'm just going to keep it the default password, which is just password. And I'm going to set my open AI API key. Once I've done this, you can then go back into Docker. You can simply just paste this up and you can click enter and your Docker will start running. Sorry about that. I should have mentioned it before, but once this has finished starting up, we're going to be able to open it up on our local or sorry, the memgpt.localhost in our browser. So once this is finished composing the Docker, I'm going to be right back and we're going to be starting to play around with it. So it looks like it's running now. So what we can do is go back to our GitHub repository, copy this link, and we can open up a new tab and head over to our memgpt uh, UI. And we can see that we're going to be now able to work with memgpt's framework where we're going to be able to create a long-term memory agents that have the ability to connect to external data sources and we're going to have the ability to define and call custom functions. This is where we're going to be playing around and creating, creating our AI agents. So what you want to do first is go to the setting. You can configure certain things over here where you're going to be able to add a URL. You're going to be able to create your own profile so that you can have multiple people working in this UI. Now, your agents tab is where you're going to be working with your agents we're going to be able to create multiple agents your data sources is where you're going to be able to upload various file types such as excel files notion files you have various components that you can integrate within mgpt you have a tool builder that you can basically work with where you can see that there is example tools already here where there is a send tool and this is where it's going to be able to send messages to a human you can see that there's various other tools that they have already pre-built you have persona templates where they're going to be able to reenact a certain type of persona. You have user templates for whoever is utilizing MGPT on this local server. So what we're going to be doing first is just creating our own agent. We can name this world of AI agent. We can util utilize uh, various models. At the current moment, we only have it preset to GPT-4. But say if we want to utilize something else, you can go to the GitHub repository. And they basically stated that you have the ability to support different endpoints and backends. You can see that there's LM endpoints for Azure OpenAI, Google AI's Gemini model, Anthropic, and so many others. You can have it connected to Hugging, or sorry, Llama CPP. You have Ugo Buga Web UI. And you're going to be able to have embedding endpoints for OpenAI and Azure AI, or Azure OpenAI, and Hugging Face DEI. In this case, we're just going to be utilizing GPT-4 because it should be able to do most of the things for us. So we're going to set the model to GPT-4. We can select the persona. You can see that there's already base personas made. So if we are to actually go back, we're just going to copy this so we don't waste time. But we can go to the persona template. You can see that these are the following personas that have been already created. So I have been along and created my own persona. So what I'm going to do is go back to the agents tab, create my agent, paste my agent name. And then I'm going to select my persona. So I have the world of AI persona. And this is basically a persona that states that you are a famous AI YouTuber. <laughs> I'm just boosting myself here. But 
you will answer questions about AI and showcase what you can do with it. Now, what you can do is you can select the user. You can just select the basic user. You can then go move forward. I mean, move down, sorry. And then you can select various tools that you can actually create beforehand. You can see that you can add in an archival memory where you're going to be able to make sure that the phrase, the memory contents such as that, will be easily queried later. You also have conversation search tools and various other tools that you can get started and turn on if you want. So once that is done, you can just create the agent and then you can head over to the agents tab and you can just simply click on the conversation icon over here. You can then start chatting with your agent. So you can see that a prompt template you can add afterwards. It's going to be coming soon, but you can also add core memory. You can configure that. You can add data sources. You have tools as well as different chat settings that you can work with. And in here, you're going to be able to utilize the MemGPT framework with this UI so that you can chat and create your own AI agents with MemGPT's framework as the backend, which will provide you the long-term memory and it will be able to enhance your contextual understanding as in your AI's understanding so that it's going to be able to provide and retain and access information way better than any regular AI agent. And that's basically it for today's video on MemGPT. I really wanted to showcase this new UI as well as this new upgrade where you're going to be able to integrate MemGPT services, where you're going to be able to integrate various tools where you can make your AI agent smarter with better memory. And that's about it, guys. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you check out my previous video on MemGPT. This is something that is amazing and it's something that you should definitely reference if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon page so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.